Hey, welcome to the production vlogs number three. This time we're gonna be dealing with the guitar playing process and getting the super chunk. Uh, gonna take you through the amps, gonna take you through the cabinets, and gonna take you through basically what it takes to get uh, a lot of the, the heavy machine head guitar tone that we got. Um, again, this is primarily just gonna be like the tech side of stuff, microphone placement, you know, talking about tubes. Uh, it can be boring, so again, feel free to go over to the YouTube sidebar there and click on something else if you want to, but if that kind of stuff interests you, this is gonna be cool. On this record, we are recording more guitars than what we did on Unto the Locust. Um, Whereas on the last record we just did left, right, we just had stereo guitars. This record we're doing guitars and stereo, but we're also layering the guitars per side. So we're doing two tracks per side. Um, that enables to have a bigger guitar sound. In this case, more guitars are more guitars. They sound bigger, everything's more full. Um, it really adds to the guitar tone. You have the frequencies on top of each other some to a louder and a full, more full guitar sound. What we've been doing is we've been tracking the guitars and we'll do a left side and then a right side with a guitar and a head configuration and then we'll do another guitar and another head and we'll do the same thing. We'll track left and right for both of those. What a pleasant surprise that is. That's fucking awesome. We just found out that I actually did two tracks on this next song and I don't have three to do, which is, uh, I know it just seems like a, like, it doesn't seem like very much, but it is. So you put the, you put some blood on the board, that's how we know when a track is done. And it doesn't look like much because this is actually the strip of guitars here, right? And actually it should be like this because, you know, the drum, all this other stuff, because the guitars take so fucking long, so goddamn long, so, so far, what have I done? I've done 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 tracks of guitar. So I've done 33 tracks of guitar. This is Jared's. I know, that's how he does his little cox symbol. Phil's got some polka dots and everybody else has just been filling in mine. So, But uh, so 33 tracks of guitars. So each track, that's, that's two on each side. So we do stereo guitars. So one on, two on the left side, two on the right side. And each track takes about five hours, about on average five hours. For the guitars, Rob Flynn is using two 5150s. He's using an older one which is like his go-to amp that he has for the studio. And then we're also using a newer one, which is a 6505. And they're both going through the Mesa Boogie uh, setup. We're using like a 57 and we're using a 421, which is pretty basic, only we're kind of doing a twist on that. Me and Rob, you know, we spent a lot of time, he's producing the record, so we spent a lot of time before we went in on the demo, kind of working around with mics. And we came up with this uh, 609. For some reason, by itself, that amp, that mic doesn't sound that good, but mixed in with a 421 and uh, SM57, it sounds amazing. It brings out just this killer frequency. It just kind of rounds off both mics. On this record, we did a little, when we were doing the same microphone shootout, we also did cabinet shootouts and we did amp shootouts. And what we found out when we were doing the cabinet shootout was that the Marshall sound amazing in the room when you got them cranked up. They have sound killer low, they got really nice high end, you know, but as soon as you put a mic in front of them and you start comparing it, you start listening to it, it just seems like it's a very scooped sounding cab, you know? You know, when you put a close mic on it, you know? So we started uh, experimenting with, you know, the Mesa Boogie, the smaller ones, the 75 watt cabinets, and we found that that with the combination of mics that we have, really sounded you know like 10 times it was just like the the change was just unbelievable we were just like holy shit this is it this is the way to go you know
Thank you for watching production blog number three. And uh, the one coming up next, it's going to be tackling the vocals. So see you then.